Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I would like to read to you from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 9. It says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. It continues, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This is a uh, passage of scripture that Jesus spoke in order to help his followers know how to pray. Many times, uh, and in many churches for years, um, Christians have repeated this prayer almost as a ritual. They repeat this prayer and go through it word for word here and in the Gospel of Luke, the other place where this this prayer is recorded. And it's... Uh, it's a prayer that is more teaching us about the elements of prayer than, than intended to be a ritual or a rote prayer that we just pray it and say it and don't think about it. I want us to stop for just a moment and think about a couple things that I see in this wonderful prayer. He says, Our Father which is in heaven. Jesus is identifying that there is only one God. That's His Father and actually our Creator, uh, God in heaven, he says, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, which means the name of God is holy, separate from anyone else's name. And it says, thy kingdom come. This means that we want the rule of God or his ways to be the guide, the, the, the rule for our, the way we behave and think and act. And it says, uh, thy will be done earth, on earth as it is in heaven, which means um, we want to do the things that God wants us to do here just as it is being done in heaven. That is in agreement with God and with his will. It says, give us this day our daily bread. You know, a lot of people are struggling in the world today. Here in America, for the most part, we have access to food and health care and clothing and housing. Not everyone does. But he says, we're supposed to pray and ask God because God is the one who provides for us. When we try to get our needs met any other way than through reliance upon God and obedience to his word, which includes working for what we eat and use, um, anything else is less than God's standard for us. So he says to give us our daily bread. By the way, it says daily bread. It didn't say to give us all of the bread, most of the bread, the best bread, more bread than others. It just says, give us our daily bread. You know what we need to live and to work each day. And he says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. That one is a really key part of this whole prayer. Reason, God meets our needs. There is only one God, our Father in heaven. He has a way that we're supposed to live. But when he says, forgive us our debts, I got to tell you something. We don't deserve to be forgiven. In fact, have you ever had somebody who did something against you, like we do against God, and that other person wanted you to forgive them and act like it hadn't happened? And you're thinking, but you don't deserve to be forgiven. The truth is, none of us deserves to be forgiven. He instructs us to forgive others in the same way God is willing to forgive you and me. He says, if we forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. This is a warning. If you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your sin. You realize that if we're unwilling to forgive other people, but we want God to forgive us, we got a problem. We need to have an attitude of forgiving others in the same way God is willing to forgive you and me. I want you just to take some time privately, talk to God about it, say, is there anything that I've been holding against someone else 
I've not been showing love toward them or forgiveness toward them. If so, ask God to forgive you. He will. And then forgive the other person and you'll be set free from that anger, bitterness, whatever's been binding you. Please forgive other people in the same way God's willing to forgive you and you'll sleep good at night and you'll have better relationships with everybody. Okay? God bless you.